Take Burnout's Destruction, add two extra tracks to drive on simultaneously, and some dumb AI for hilarious interactions, and you have Drive, Drive, Drive. It's an interesting game because unlike most racing games, you have to drive across three tracks to complete a race. Meaning you have a track where you place in first, another one when you're in fifth, and the last track having you in dead last. When you switch tracks, a computer takes over your car when you're not driving on that track. It didn't occur to me how dumb the AI really was when I was in first on a track and then as soon as I switch I managed to end up in seventh. I switched back to fix whatever the fuck the AI was doing and my car was driving in the wrong direction. Like, what are you doing car? Please. There's various modes for this game and I'm pleased to say that there is an online mode, it's just that nobody's playing it. I don't know why having an online mode for a racing game isn't a staple, but maybe some companies can take hints. I'm looking at you, Road Redemption. Next update, my ass. There's a campaign, but it's not like some Fast and the Furious shit. You just race on tracks trying to get gold medals in different cars with different attributes. There's over 100 tracks that increase with difficulty as you progress, though. The sound in the game is nice and all, but no offense, zombie. Whenever I play a racing game, I just have the strongest urge to play the Tokyo Drift music. It always puts me in the mood, especially with these sick-ass drifts. But yeah, that's Drive Drive Drive. It's a pretty cool game with nice graphics. It'll run you about $20 unless you catch it on sale on Steam or PS4. Tune in next time when I'm eating Chef Boyardee by the boatload while listening to the new Kid Cudi album. Jane, gold all in my chain. My chain.